good. What? Why's my battery flat? I just charged it. Ah, oh, good something. <laughs> I don't know if it's morning or afternoon. I do know though that I woke up very late today. Well, 9.30. Mind you, I did go to bed at like 1. But that means I got a good 8 plus hours sleep. So, one of the best night's sleeps I've had in a very long time. Ugh. But I've just finished my uh, food review video. I had the McDonald's Big Mac BLT. This one here. Mm. It's pretty good. So I could have gone home and edited that video and get it uploaded ASAP. But before I do that, I was just going to go to the uh, shops to see if there's some shorts because I left most of my shorts in Singapore. And really, I just don't even have any. And most of the ones I do have, the buttons are popped off because they must have shrunk. The, the pants must have shrunk or something. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go down to TK Maxx. It's the, used to be trade secret. TK Maxx has bought them out. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. Plus I might see if there's anything Christmas shoppingly that I can, you know, buy for someone. Luckily, I have a girlfriend that loves doing Christmas shopping, so I don't have to do any. You know, there's not too many benefits that a female brings to a relationship as a mig toe. But I tell you what, buying presents is one of those things. I mean, I hate doing it. If someone else can do it for me, fantastic. But I tell you what, it is stinking hot day. I was sweating bullets while I was doing that video before. Oh, mate. I'm still sweating. Anyway, let's go down to TK Maxx and uh, suss out their short selection. Yeah. Right, whenever I come to TK Maxx, I always check out their business shirts. So they usually got some good ones. Oh, a blue. I don't have any blue shirts. <laughs> yeah. Bernice always complains that all my shirts are blue. Well, I can't wear white Bernice, I told you that. My white shirts will stay white for about three seconds. And then, boof, they'll be whatever I've just eaten for lunch, plus white. But uh, the short selection, there's not much of a short selection today, and they're not really, like, overly cheap either. I mean, look at these ones. They're like tracky Dax. Imagine your bulge sticking out through that. Everyone would see that I'm carrying a mushroom. Right. Hmm, muscle shirt, that's what I need. Just need the muscles to go with it. Now I can never remember what size I am. I don't know if I'm 36, I used to be 32, now I think I'm 38. But these prices aren't, like, cheap. 55 to 34, no, 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 no. No, that should be $12, not $30. Well, doesn't look like I'm going to be getting any shorts today. Unless I find an absolute bargain. Well, that was good. I picked up a couple of pairs of shorts. And uh, some Christmas presents. In no time at all. Only sent me back $70 too. And that was including a pair of Ben Sherman's shorts. Wee! Mate, picked up a pair of 36 inch and 34 inch. I'm hedging my bets. Just in case, you know, I might put on a little bit more weight over Christmas. I'll wear the 36s. But if I keep going the way I'm going, I'll be in those 34s, no worries. They were a little tight, but. <laughs> When you've got an ass my ripe, you like your pants a little bit tighter. So I better go home, big, bigger, better go home and edit this video. <laughs> the fast food one. Then I'll probably end up going for a walk later. Yeah, just like my camera does. Another cracking day. It's stinking hot. But hey, it is summer. It's kind of what you expect. If 
it's walk time down to the beach today and then afterwards I've got to go to the bottle o because Benjamin Barone who sent me some some PayPal money like a few weeks ago he sent me some more thanks a lot buddy you're an absolute champion and he wants me to go and try a certain ginger beer so I'm going to go and buy some at the bottle o but first to the beach Well, it's beautiful down here today. There's plenty of people swimming. I'm sure the water temperature is really nice. Just perfect. Frangipani and the poinsettia living together in harmony. Could I get any more gorgeous? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so Benjamin wants me to get a Brookvale Union ginger beer. Alright. There's ciders. Ciders. Some beers. Well, there's a Stones ginger beer. Brookvale Union. <sighs> there's a Matsos Stones. So I've just gone and asked the guy uh, where it is, and he goes, oh my god, it's you. I'm so starstruck, I love your videos. <laughs> you didn't look like the type that would watch my videos. Big, tall, dreadlock guy, but mate, you see, you never know who you'll run into. A fan right here at the local bottle home. <laughs> Might get some free beers. Anyone? Free beers for the, for the famous guy here? So you're not going to believe this. So the guy in there, Mason, <laughs> my new best mate, who didn't even know Mrs. Tribehead or Grey Guy Channel existed, um, was telling him about cheap beers and everything. He goes, mate, I can get you a carton of gold, for its gold for $15. Boof. They're all like the singles ones. Like they smashed a six pack and they have to write off the rest of the carton. So I got a whole carton of four inch skull for fifteen dollars. Yes! Thanks a lot, Mason. You're an absolute champion. Whew! That's quite a walk. <laughs> so unfortunately, Benjamin, I couldn't. Uh, the dance near my place doesn't sell the whatever union. Um, what's it called again? <laughs> it's five bucks. Uh, whatever that was. Uh, that ginger beer you told me to go and get and try that in cellar but because of you Benjamin I scored a carton of beers 24 beers for $15 see we've got a couple of forex heavies in there as well oh, thank you so much and thanks Mason it was really nice to meet um, a fan <laughs> it's funny yeah you didn't even know I had a a vlog channel so there you go there's lots of people that still don't uh, but anyway what time is it oh my god it's 6 30 time for a beer oh, I've just missed the sunset but it looks like it would have been beautiful cheers See, you never know what can happen on old grey guy. Isn't it interesting just to see that you can turn the most boring life into something interesting? <laughs> well, 
And when I say interesting, I'm saying that quite loosely, of course. But it is interesting. It's fun to look at what I did today. And I'll tell you what, what's happening right now is I'm getting bitten by these effing midges. Bloody hell. And I've got a blister today with my new shoes. Thanks a lot, ASICS, for doing that. Oh, that only just happened right at the end. Oh, well, that'll learn me. Well, it's been a nice day. Weather's been great. It's a bit hot this morning, but hey, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I'm not complaining. Oh, wow. A dead mullet. Looks like something took a bite of it and then thought, nah, this is terrible. And then just let it die. Didn't want to finish it. You can see the birds feed around it. <laughs> The seagull's been pecking its eyes out and you just would have been pecking it all day. Ew! Come on fish, you feed on it now. There's a different layer of clouds. So you've got the cumulonimbus, which are the dark ones. And is, are they stratus? What's that set of clouds? I could always remember them <coughs> in primary school. Now I've grown up, I can't remember. I know I used to go to a nightclub called Stratus. That's the way, that's why I know what they're called. I had many a good night there. <coughs> good luck, mate. Look here, you're not going anywhere. Oh, hang on a sec. Bloody hell. Is he going to get out? Oh no, don't go that way mate. Wouldn't be going that way. What is he carrying anyway? Is that a bug? He's just picking that thing up like it's nothing. Oh my god. He's got out. You, sir, are an absolute champion. But I tell you what, these things sting. Like if you get bitten by one, you'll know about it. They hurt. Look at him. He's just walking like it's nothing. <laughs> oh. How are you, dear? Are you doing well? Yeah. Well, remember the other day I had sausages and uh, mashed potato for dinner with some broccoli that I was going to reheat? Well, just so happens this was the, the tin I cooked the uh, potatoes in and mashed them in. And now look. Ta da! All I have to do is nuke this. I'll take it out of the tin, of course, before I stick it in the microwave. I'm not stupid. So I'll nuke that and there's dinner. Boof! Done. You see? You see how life works. You cook once, bang, I'm not cooking for the last two nights. I'm just reheating. Beautiful. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. <coughs> My cost's getting much better. And I reckon in a couple of days' time, I'll be just 97%, I reckon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.